Hello and welcome to week 12 of Tadpole to Frog. These are tadpoles that we ordered from naturegifts.com. We received them on in the mail on January 27th of this year and it's April 17th now. I haven't done a video in a few weeks and we have some exciting news. We finally have one tadpole that has legs and I think it's not this guy, but actually he's in a perfect spot to show you that his legs are forming. Of course, he went away. I just changed the water on this aquarium this morning, but when you feed them, their food uh, disintegrates into the water and makes all those flakes, and that's how they like to eat their food, so that's actually good for them. This one does not have legs yet, but you can see where the legs are starting to form just at the back of its body. But this one, hopefully he'll come up here so you can see his legs a little more clearly, does have legs, just back legs so far. But of course, as those flakes are falling down, it's really hard to see them. Hopefully he'll get somewhere where it's easier to see his legs. Maybe if I go around the side here, we might can see them. Let's see, I'm trying to get where you can see that guy and his legs, but apparently I'm not doing a very good job. There we go. There you go. There you can see the back legs of that frog, that tadpole forming. He's letting all the food flakes fall down on him. That's funny. They don't usually do that. Um, and he got his legs about a week to 10 days ago. So somewhere in week 10 or 11, I was going to try to point in case you weren't sure. These are his back legs. They're still pretty small. Um, his tail doesn't seem to have shrunk very much. And once they start to uh, form lungs, their tail is supposed to shrink. So that still hasn't happened yet. If you've been watching the other videos, you'll know that we have two tanks. We have this tank, which is the tank that you can order from naturegifts.com. And it has two tadpoles in it that love to hide right behind this little display. There they are right there, there's one of them. And the other guy's up there at the top going crazy over there. Um, and in this tank, there is no filter. And that is what Re uh, Nature Gifts recommends actually, is just using their tank with no filter. This is a fish tank, a one gallon, and this is a two gallon tank. Uh, Nature Gifts recommends one gallon per tadpole. There's the tadpole right there. This is just a one gallon fish tank that does have a filter in it. And we were kind of doing a little experiment since they recommended no filter. Um, and this fish tank does have a filter. And this fish tank actually stays a little cleaner. And the tadpole that has legs first is the one that's in the tank with the filter. So that's just some interesting. There's a tadpole really up close that's sitting really still right there. So that's a good good view of those two tadpoles in this tank and um, so I think that with the filter it might actually be better even though that's not what they recommend and I'm gonna see if I can make them swim around you're not supposed to tap and do that very often and this one also has the light so that makes it nice to see them a little clear more clearly apparently they're not gonna swim around in this video this one back here will though uh, they, it does say in the pamphlet that's from Nature's Gift that it directly correlates how many full water changes you do to how fast they get their legs. Here it is in the, the pamphlet that came with the kit. It says, um, how long before I get my, let's see. My tadpole isn't moving. Let's see. How long does it take the tadpole to become a frog? It says approximately 12 to 16 weeks with complete water changes. And I've done my water changes about, at first I did do them every week and now it's been more like every 10 days. So I think I've done it pretty regularly, but they haven't become tadpole or haven't become frogs yet. We're on week 12 and only one even has legs even starting in that direction. So I say maybe it takes a little longer than that in my experience with this two sets. 
Um, here's some more information. Here's the way it talks about the filter. It says, do I need a heater, filter, or gravel in my habitat? Answer, in their opinion, is no. Room temperature water is best, and filters take away the tadpole's food, and gravel makes water changes hard and isn't necessary. But as I said, you just might have to feed them a little more often because it takes those flakes out of the water a little bit. But, um, obviously, it's always good to go by what they tell you. Um, I've done one of each, and these tadpoles are alive and well, but they just don't have their legs yet, even on week 12. So there is how our tadpoles are doing, and we did finally want to run out of their little tiny thing of water solution on this change, so I just bought uh, this fish stuff, which is also in the pamphlet. It says that's acceptable. There they go, moving around a little bit for you. The one's eating off the bottom. That's the one with the legs. Started moving around, eating off the bottom. Oh no, that's not the one with legs, it's the other one. There they are, our tadpoles on week 12. These are leopard frog tadpoles. If you haven't watched our other videos, we have about five other videos, I think. They're all on a playlist. Hope that you'll watch them. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Elementary Christy Bailey, I hope that you'll do that. Lots of fun read alouds for kindergarten through fourth grade and even some chapter books. We also have videos about the development of butterflies and of chickens and of quails. So I hope that you're enjoying these tadpole videos and our other life cycle videos and read alouds. And I hope you'll come back to find out what happens to our little leopard frog tadpoles from Nature Gifts. And hopefully in the next few weeks we'll start to see more developments and maybe even get to the point that we're ready to change our aquarium to have some dry space. <laughs> They're always trying to go up between the filter and the glass. I don't know why they do that, but they've done that the whole time. Also now they do like to rest in our plants, which it does say you need plants because they can't swim constantly. Once they start to develop, they have to have a place to rest and they are doing that a lot. I know just getting up in the plants and resting. But as I said, I hope you're enjoying watching our tadpoles develop and I hope you'll come back for our next video.